Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, and welcome to another one of my Fortnite videos playing newbie paints and I just reached Plankerton. We have right now headed into the very first Storm Shield defense in Plankerton. So this is a huge, 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 huge milestone for me to reach the second part of the game. And I want to be doing things completely differently here in Plankerton. The reason being, a lot of players have been asking me about how do you build the good kill tunnels, how do you make uh, these really good fortifications, how do you make sure they don't get smashed, you know, what does it take for you to complete and win a storm shield defense in this game here? And my base answer is nothing. The storm shield defenses in Plankerton and Stonewood are so easy that you can complete them solo style without building anything. Of course, it's easier if you have built a base. Of course, it is easier if you played with others, if you use your defenders. But I wanted to take the time out during my progression in Plankerton to hopefully show you guys that you can complete the Storm Shield defenses during the entire Plankerton, the required ones. Once we go into the optional ones, we're going to be making really awesome kill tunnels, but for the progression part, just trying to do the game in a way where we won't be needing any walls, we don't need to stash up materials, we don't need to be afraid that our traps aren't good enough, we don't need to be afraid that exploders are gonna blow up things or smashers are gonna push through. So hopefully, and this is a big hopefully, you can see this here is what I have to work with, so nothing really good, and I could put down defenders, uh, but Let's go with the flow on it really and just see if we can do this completely without building. So nothing, I hope that I will be able to do this without putting down a single wall. I may not be able to do it flawlessly as in get the metal for you know, not taking 20% damage. I expect to be able to do that in at least some of them, but bear with me guys as I try to do this in a different way just to, I mean, most people that play Storm Shield defenses play with others, right? Or you have your defenders, or you have your traps. So hopefully this video here will, uh, if I can, <laughs> if I can play even a little bit decently, show you guys that the damage, the stuff you need to be afraid of is not really that crazy. And for those of you that know my account from um, a long time ago, you know that I am bad at aiming. Like I'm a horrible PvP player. So I'm bad at shooting, I'm bad at aiming, I'm not a really good combat player as such, I'm actually a much better uh, strategic player in terms of actually making bases and stuff like that. So hopefully if, if I can do this with my skills, this year is only day 5 of gaming, I haven't spent any V-Bucks, I have stashed up all the V-Bucks I've earned, so I'm playing with a legendary soldier from the event, with a legendary weapon from the event, I have not leveled up really to the fullest my support hero my tactical hero all that stuff i am not in any way close to being capped on skill points or research i've been trailblazing through it meaning that i am relatively weak even though i am now power level 16 and these husks here that uh, keep coming towards me are power level 15 so right now i am stronger than them and i'm using a much stronger weapon so what I have done is to focus my resources on few things that I really want to make sure work instead of spreading it out over a lot of things that I can use for random things. I don't have a rocket launcher that I'm using, just using my assault weapon and my hero abilities. The thing that is worth Whoa, that was close on. The thing that is worth noting, I feel, is that in general, if you aggro the husks, they will rather take you out than the storm shield. So if you can damage them, as you can see, I haven't damaged these, so they are charging towards the Storm Shield, but for most of the husks, not the small tiny dwarf ones, they are crazy aggro, but most of the husks will rather go after you if you damage them, if you aggro them, than the Storm Shield. So if you have the survivability, if you have the shield and the health or the avoiding skills to just outlive them for the duration of the timer, then these timed waves are going to be really, really easy. You can see they're just standing there figuring out how to attack me. They're not even charging towards the actual storm shield and... Okay, so it has taken damage now, but barely nothing. 
And this is a one man, one weapon, solo kind of thing. No traps, no walls, no nothing. And the very, very important thing about playing a Storm Shield defense where you have built nothing is that you can lose nothing besides your weapon durability. If you don't win the Storm Shield, you can just start the mission again. Completely easy as that. There is no penalty for losing. Nothing. So you have no iron loss, no metal loss, no traps being blown up. And of course, you may not think this is the most fun way to do it. Personally, I love making bases, having the passive opponent takeout kind of thing. I mean, I think it is the most amazing thing to actually do. But the situation I'm in in the game right now, on day five in Plankerton, my traps are bad. I don't want to be spending a lot of time doing extra optional missions to grind things to level up my bad traps. I don't want to be trading with others trying to get traps and I definitely don't want to be taking out things from my main account to help me here. So I want to work with what I have and even though since I have been able to get here I could also make it here with the traps I have, I would rather take out this time here to try to see what does it actually take to win these storm shield defenses without anything. We have a lobber, all right. No problem, it's not standing up there trying to kill the base. No, nope. it's jumping down here trying to attack me. So, <laughs> easy, just need to outlive that. These pitchers slow wind up, meaning that if you see them in advance, you can even avoid their projectiles or so on coming there. Lobbers, for some reason, they keep coming down, so I don't even need to think about how can I come up to the lobbers to take them out. No, they're jumping down here, just they're being served on a platter. Of course, we have the minimap at all times. As you can see, I'm turning to the sides. It is because the the husks that we have on the cliff side over towards the west, I constantly feel like they are jumping down, but they're not. They're staying up there, jumping slowly down. And these pitchers, are, they would rather take out me than the storm shield. So I am the main target, even though the goal for them is to take out the storm shield, they would rather make sure that I am not in their way first. So that is, and, and the storm shield has taken more damage now, but still really less than 20%, which is pretty amazing. All right, we have a, we have a taker. Let's see if we can use our abilities here to, our gadgets really. See, that, no, it didn't take it out. Oh, come on taker. Again, it is going for me. It is not going to go sneaky style on the actual storm shield. Mist monster down, <laughs> easy pains, we have less than a minute left. It would be really fun to start this out actually by by completing this with the bonus objective. No, all right, so that one didn't get aggroed. All right, it doesn't really look like I'm gonna be doing bonus style, but I don't really think that the reward is of significant uh, <laughs> difference if you do it crazy style or not. And I need more projectiles. No. Yeah, I do. I do feel like uh, I'm going a little bit crazy pants shooting here, but it is because, guys, I am really trying to see if I can take them out fast enough to get the bonus objective. Because, on a personal note, I think it would be really cool to do this with with the bonus objective the first time I try this. I have I have never tried to do a storm shield like this before. So if I can actually do it, I kind of think it is pretty amazing, not just because to show that it can be done, but doing it with the bonus objective right on. So this year was really opening up for the first part of the game. This was the first Storm Shield in Plankards, an absolutely amazing, completed opening up for a new tier in the game, a new higher difficulty level. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I had to do that. I think this is freaking awesome. And I know it is not as strategic and interesting as it is to make the bases. And it is probably gonna take me a few weeks to get through Plankards. But during that process, I'm going to have a high focus trying to get a ceiling trap that is good and hopefully a launcher that is good as well because those are the two traps that for me are the most important. I don't really care if it's a wall launcher or it's a floor launcher. I need a launcher so that I can push things away to manage things and I need something that I can damage with from the roof. So I need a ceiling field or gas trap 
that can go area damage on a large amount of husks. If I don't have those two things, I can't make an efficient kill area. So hopefully during my progression in Plankerton, we're going to somehow get those traps. That <laughs> I need them in order to make really amazing kill tunnels. And I absolutely refuse to use my V-Bucks. So I am... It has to happen one way or the other. Perhaps I will just end up using my rares, but I have given myself throughout Plankerton to get the things that I need to make amazing bases once we hit Canyon Valley. Alright, easy loss. Complete a category 2 fight the storm mission. Yay! Everybody loves category 2 storms. <laughs> Alright, well that's gonna be the next mission for sure. Alright, I completely forgot that started already. I, I'm not sure why I thought that was in Candy, but Apparently we're going to be digging into a category 2 storm right, right around the corner getting Shock Specialist AC. Hey, yeah, we might as well gently tickle these mini reward llamas for a chance to get something. Perhaps they're going to give me a gas ceiling field. Alright, gas trap. Gas ceiling field. Electric ceiling field. I, I really like that one because it, it hits a 3x3 three three area, a huge area just demolishing husks in it. So. Uh, so yeah, okay, what else do we have here to work with? Not really much left here to do stuff with, but um, but yeah, 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 let's see what we have here. Yeah, the two swirls. And do we have anything we can nudge with here? Can we one-up Tank Penny because uh, I need the Flux still, yeah, it's gonna be two additional event weeks before I can make her legendary, I really want to do that. Uh, so much gonna be happening around the corner all the time, but we're gonna give her a boost because I'm probably gonna be taking her into the two swirls. So yeah, not really much more I can do, but I might as well just rearrange these to make ready for that mission. Regardless guys, that was what I had to share in this video. <laughs> the very first Plankerton Storm Shield Defense, no base style. I hope you enjoyed. As always, thank you very much and very much for watching.